Well, BYOB is certainly a familiar term for many of us, but how many of us know BYOK? It's bring your own key. The two have nothing to do with each other. I'm just trying to think of a snappy opening because it is interesting, actually, and it may apply to you. It stands for bring your own key, which is a security option that you may or may not be taking advantage of today. And this discussion is about whether you should and what kind of things you should be aware of when it comes to security and collaboration, especially with all the cloud technologies that we all depend on these days. I've got two experts joining me today. First of all, Lewis Pratt is a technical engineer from WebEx. Welcome, Lewis. And then we've also got Josh Reinman from uh, CTO from Fidelis Technologies. Thank you, gentlemen, both for joining us. And let's start with you, Josh. How about uh, lay the groundwork for us? What is Fidelis? What do you do over there? So Fidelis Technologies is, uh, you know, we're a unified communications and enterprise network Cisco partner. You know, we're uh, master collaboration, uh, gold provider, gold integrator. We've been doing this for nearly 20 years. Started back in the day when it was just IPT and we've grown with the business. Uh, we've carved a niche for ourselves by being a highly consultative partner, ensuring we understand the business needs of our clients and you know, delivering that through technology. Uh, technology is always fun, but ultimately businesses are buying it for the outcome. And that's where we live. Absolutely. We're definitely in a market, I think, where, where partnership becomes very important as we move forward because the answers uh, to this, the same questions have different answers as we move forward. And speaking of which, I wonder if you could kind of lay the groundwork from a technical perspective. What is BYOK and, and who does that really apply to? Who should be listening to that type of uh, understanding? Sure. So BYOK really comes down to control, it is controlling who has access to your data. Um, there's a lot of different mechanisms, uh, access lists, uh, things of that nature, but ultimately, if you have the key to the kingdom, you can open the door. Mm -hmm. And the, you know, BYOK wasn't as much of an issue prior to cloud because everything's within your four walls. You have your perimeter uh, protections and so on. And now that things are moving to the cloud, it's become a much bigger uh, topic of conversation. And what clients are looking to do, you know, we work with a lot of, um, a lot of you know organizations that are highly sensitive to security needs uh, because of their industry or the industries of their clients. And what they want is to make sure not only that they know who's getting into their data, that they know they can also block who, who they want to get into their data. Um, and being able to control the keys and control who can get the keys is really the, the, the paramount uh, task that they're trying to, to get to. Um, that's what BYOK is to us is control. Well, it reminds me, because it kind of raises the question, obviously we're talking about encryption, and then it forces you to kind of reconcile the fact that encryption consists of both, uh, you know, it's 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 coding the data, but that's it's kind of useless if the key has been exposed. And so a lot of us, we trust the provider because it becomes a level of detail or abstraction that maybe some just don't want to deal with, but you should at least be aware about what the key process is. What is the management that's happening on your behalf? Where does it start? Where does it end? because otherwise you may not be getting what you think you're getting, I would assume. But it sounds like, so the customers that this is most important to are probably relatively mature, security knowledgeable customers who know exactly what this means in terms of management and what they're taking on when they do this, right? Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Is these are organizations who, not only do they understand security from a technical level, but also from the standpoint of, you know, protecting even names of things, right? So the kind of thing where, if you're working with the banks, for instance, and you have a file that's named uh, Bank A merging with Bank B, that'll move the markets in ways no one ever even predicted. Uh, and that's the level of security they have to consider. Um, and you know, when you think about breaches of the last five or 10 years, a lot of them don't happen directly into the organization being attacked. A lot of them do happen from third parties. Third parties can be you know, service providers, uh, or cloud providers or anything of that nature. And encryption is gonna be key to continuing to protect that uh, amongst other measures, of course. So when it comes to the level of security these organizations are really going after, it's you know extremely high, um, government level, if you will. That's what they're trying to achieve. Uh, and, and this type of solution going to the cloud, BYOK becomes a very important uh, component to implement and understand. That's that's interesting, and I want to bring Lewis into this conversation because Lewis, my my perception is is that uh, it's always been WebEx has taken security very seriously from from its from its original roots, 
including, of course, end-to-end in, -end encryption, because that never made it easy in many situations to roll out new features and such like this, because there was a foundational level of security. So I feel like this is not new, but I wonder if you could build on what Josh is saying about defining BYOK, and also, how does WebEx approach this? Because key management's been a key part of WebEx for a while, I believe. Absolutely, Rob. Thanks. Josh, for joining uh, and, and having this conversation with us. Uh, WebEx has always had end-to-end -end encryption when we talk about the app. You know, we look at the WebEx app for, for messaging and meetings capabilities, that end-to-end -end encryption has always been there from a cloud service. Whether, and that's managed through our key management service as a cloud service. So by default, we, we control that, that key management service, that indexing service that, that holds that key and that capability for the end-to-end -end encryption. We've also provided what we call our hybrid data security, where you can move that key management service, that compliance and indexing service on premises in your data center for a level of control around that, that key aspect of it. What we're adding here with the, the bring your own key capability is a third option where it stays in the cloud. You don't have to manage your on-premises infrastructure, but you as the customer via our control hub can provide your own key effectively, your master key that goes into Control Hub that allows us to use that for the encryption of content. So now the customer has control of the, the, act, the key itself that can load in Control Hub and we use that as part of our normal uh, key management service that's already existing in the WebEx app. That's interesting, I love the fact, so uh, Control Hub obviously has been where we've seen, well, just a ton of investment over the last several years, but it's a centrality, a, a uh, uh, kind of that, I always say that one, a single pane of glass uh, for a lot of things that happen across WebEx, but it truly is what to me makes it an enterprise level application because there's where you're going to find just an incredible level of depth from the analytics all the way through to the management side. So Lewis, you think we've made this, we've continued to make this as easy as possible for people making wise choices about key management? Yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, Control Hub is your, your kind of a centralized management place. But when we start looking at the the content itself, to, to Josh's point around the, the data or control, being able to know that you you have control over it, we, we introduced the zero trust meeting security last year as, as a level of encryption where you have the 15 digit code where every participant can verify that end to end encryption aspect by adding the bring your own key capability. Now the customer provides that that key into Control Hub to, to be able to to do that encryption and then you have that end-to-end -end encryption provided service from WebEx, just it's a it's another layer of control to ensure that your data is protected, your meetings are protected, you know who's involved, you authenticated those people properly, and that encryption service is, is provided through that key management structure. But that's interesting too, because you're talking about a level of visibility to something a lot of us don't pay attention to, but security people certainly do. They want to see you know, where does that encryption start? Because it's completely different if you're unencrypted on certain portions and it's like, what's the point? If the key is exposed, then what's the point? Um, but it, it opens up a necessary level of detail. So thank you, Lewis, I appreciate that. A uh, final question, uh, Josh, because I'm also curious, I, th I feel like one of the points is we, customers are always gonna be responsible for their data, no matter who is managing the key. So none of this is a, is a uh, transfer of risk or anything to that perspective. It literally though is about who needs these tools, what kind of advice would you give uh, for anyone in terms of how they interact with their collaboration providers and what kind of questions they should ask to kind of determine if this is going to be the right thing for them? That's a good question. So, you know, the questions that a lot of our clients have been asking are really going quite in depth to the point of wanting to understand the details, not just of the technology behind managing the keys, where they can be, can they be on prem or in the cloud, but also the security policies of the organizations writing the code, right? So depending on how far you really want to go with understanding these things, it's important to dig as deep as you feel necessary to be comfortable. That's what this all comes down to. Security, as everyone knows, is a matter of, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, right? And the more understanding you have of the solution with, your, with which you're working, the better off you can be and make the right decision for your organization. Um, ultimately, that decision may be to stay on-prem. And if that's the organization's decision, then you have to go with that. But understand, you're going to be missing out on uh, some of the great things that are available in the cloud. Uh, I think Cisco has done a fantastic job with security. It's you know, uh, I love the the uh, answer we get from customers that no one ever gets fired for choosing Cisco. Um, and you have to stay on top of that. And we yeah. continue to work with our clients and Cisco to push the envelope on what security can do. Uh, you know, it's never good enough. 
we can always do better. And that's, I think, the ultimate goal is clients should always be asking more, asking more questions and, and truly just having an understanding of what uh, the impact is going to be of any particular setup. Excellent points, Josh. Lewis, any final questions or, or pointers you want to add here? Yeah, to, to Josh's point of making sure that you know, we take security to a level here at Cisco that a lot of our customers demand is, is we do influence a lot of the IEEE, the RFC community. A lot of our employees are actively participant in standards-based bodies to, to for standards-based protocols. So they're, they're, we're trying to do things without a lot of proprietary capabilities and most everything we do or we're moving towards uh, standards-based implementation and influencing those standards to make sure that we have that complete security story. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much. I think the the key takeaway for me is really about control. We talk about control hub being where WebEx takes care of these things and makes it uh, simple to make decisions about security. And for security conscious customers, this notion and this ability to BYOK, bring your own key is probably exactly what many are looking to do, but it's a good reminder for all of us in terms of awareness and how we're working with our collaboration providers. So lots of good information. I thank both of you to our audience to get more information. Of course, WebEx.com is always a good source to see how this might apply directly to you. I encourage you to reach out to your WebEx account team. My name is Rob Boyd. Thanks so much for joining us.